I dropped the transducer from the hummingbird in the hole to see if there's any fish. And if there's no fish, why fish there? Move to the holes that have fish. I think I need to get a, a hot hole. Yeah. Hi, I'm Brian Brosdahl, and I'm out on the northern Minnesota lake ice fishing, and I get to a chance to test the hummingbird ice fishing unit. Most people don't associate hummingbird with ice fishing but they soon will. This thing's great. Let me explain some things to you about it. This is a flasher, but it's got an LCD readout in the middle. And at my fingertips is all the information I need. It shows how deep it is. There's no confusing numbers. You have three different color palettes, so you can choose from a lot of different colors. You can go three colors or six colors. The nice thing about six colors is you can get real detail. I like to see the gradual taper to smaller, blue being the smallest, red being the brightest, and all the spectrum in between. I like to see the, the change in the fish size and the size of, of the bait in the water. Everything in the water column has a size, and this helps you sort it out really fast. I want to see what, what the, where the plankton is, where the minnows are, and where the fish are. That's how I can approach uh, the fish. I can, I can come in and uh, drop it to the right zone where they're feeding, not just where they're sitting. Oh, there's a jumbo perch. There's a nice perch. I was able to see this using the six colors, watching them come in red underneath my lure. My lure was green, the red fish came in and ate it. I can see that there's a fish there and there's my lure, and uh, the bottom shows up as, as red. 28 feet of water, right here, you can see what angle of beam I've got. I've got it on a white angle. I can hit it right here and go to narrow beam. Of course, I'm at 28 feet, and then it's only got one set of numbers, the scale that you're at. In winter uh, flasher units, I like the zoom function on the hummingbird because you can dial it to any part of the water column and zoom in twice as detailed, so you can see up close what the fish are really doing, if they're moving around or if they're holding still. If you zoom in and it's separate, you know, it's bait fish. Using the zoom is great to determine what's down there. Well, here's a little tip too on how to set the target line. Well, here's the target line. I like to use that to set it to where I've been catching the fish, right about there. You just hit it here, and then I'm gonna put it right here where the fish are hitting. And as I'm turning it, it'll show you the depth of where the target line is. There's my target line, and I can drop my lure to it every time, so I don't disrupt the fish. Now if I go to wide beam, deep water, this is so important. You can see what's around you without drilling too many holes and disturbing them. Or you go to narrow beam and see what's right underneath you. That fish is underneath the narrow beam, he's ready to hit. There's some fish on the screen here. I got it in uh, zoom mode so I can look at him up close. There he is. Oh, I gotta set the hooks up. Look at this flat screen. This is great for viewing in daylight. Plus the snow doesn't collect on it. That's what I like about it. Oh yeah. What a beautiful crappie. When the crappies are biting, there's a lot of different features that really help you out. I've been changing from wide beam to narrow beam. And uh, really is producing these nice fish. There we go. Ooh, that, that was a good one. Boy, in that zoom mode, it just raced right up and I could watch it come right in. Oh, that's a nice crappie. Wow, what a beauty. Going back down here, as you can see, a flat screen on a bright day like today is showing up perfect. There you come, see that? Coming up there to test it out. I gotcha. There, that should be good. Another nice okay. well, Here they come. Well, the one underneath is coming up to hit it right there at 32. There we go. Wow. A subtle hook set is all you need. Oh, nice crappie. I'll tell you what. These are beautiful fish anywhere. Watching that on the LCD screen, I could, I could see what depth he was at, and I could pick which ones I wanted. The ones that were down low at 36, I didn't want. I wanted the ones up higher. Those are the active ones. 
Man, they're hitting hard. That's the last fish. I don't need too many. You know, that this hummingbird really helped me catch some nice fish today. You should go out and get a hummingbird as soon as possible. It'll help you have success like this.